It's only been two days uh, since I did my initial update, but two things have happened since then. The first one is people have chimed in indicating that there were problems with the data that I was presenting because they knew of other locations that were open, and I'll call those out here in just a second. Secondly, I improved my um, SQL commands and calibrated them to extract the data more accurately for each one of these providers. And again, the providers that I'm going to be tracking on a weekly basis are the Walmart DC Fast Charger, Racetrack, 7-Eleven, Circle K, Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub, Pilot Flying J, Tesla, Electrify America, ChargePoint, and EVgo. And I'm going to try to do so in five minutes or less. Okay, the first one we're going to do is the Walmart. And what I'm looking for here is uh, Crossroads, Texas, still not showing up. That will give me indication of what to search on in order to track their rollout as it proceeds. Right now, they're still in the testing phase. Next one is Racetrack. They exist with just one open. And let me go back to my summary. The ones that have new ones are the Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub, Pilot Flying J, ChargePoint, and EVgo. And it should be noted that ChargePoint list each dispenser as a station instead of a stall, which is unfortunate. So it skews their numbers quite a bit. Next one is the 7-Eleven 7 charge. And I should note that there are 7-Elevens throughout the United States that have DC fast chargers on them that are not a part of the 7 charge program. 7 charge is run by 7-Eleven corporate putting uh, native DC fast chargers on their property, except there are locations that have uh, CPO equipment from other providers on 7-Eleven property. Those are not included in this search. I'm just trying to track the 7-Eleven 7 charge. They remain at 29. Next one is Circle K. And if you look at these last three, we have a keying error. Someone keyed in uh, 2023 instead of 2024. And the reason I know that is because I added this field over here, which is an ID field, which is auto incremented as rows are inserted into the database. And so these are inserted later. And if you look over here at this picture, this is a picture of that location, February 6th, 2024. And it had just been commissioned. It was not 2023. So... All these have been opened up uh, so far this year. Their count remains unchanged. I'm just now calling out that these three locations were 2024. And unfortunately, the database will allow CPOs to enter whatever information they want in here. And I will call out coming up here that some of these CPOs do a much better job of inserting their data than others. And then I just need to, as I said, recalibrate for each one of them as I find discrepancies. This is the Mercedes-Benz Charging Hub. I added the headquarters location because um, that's their signature location. The new one that just opened up is in Crossville, Tennessee on Interstate 40. Opened up just today. Next one is Pilot Flying J. They also have a new location. Right here in Springfield, Missouri, they're increasing to 29 now. And in the month of February, they have opened these four locations. And the data with EVgo is one of these uh, CPOs that uh, enters their data into this database very cleanly. It's, it's very reliable. This open data is, is accurate and all the fields line up. So EVgo and ChargePoint do a really good job. The next one is the Tesla Supercharger. And what I'm doing here Ooh, I got an error it's because I didn't spell select right. I missed the letter S at the beginning of the line. Sorry about that. Try one more time, this time with feeling. And what I'm doing here is I got two tables, old data and new data. And I'm banging a SQL query where the two tables are being compared against a string field. And because you're comparing on a string field trying to link up, the database has to turn a little bit in order to do that. It takes about 20 seconds, 30 seconds, something like that. It's going to be an empty set, but I'm doing it just to show how this actually works. So empty set, there are, which basically means there are no new Tesla superchargers in the past two days, which is not to be, unex which is not to be uh, unexpected. 
All right, the next one is Electrify America, and they are in the same boat. Now, the one thing about Electrify America that I got called out from on my initial one is there was a lot of missing locations. And the reason being is um, Electrify America does not enter their data cleanly. For instance, their um, signature location, which was uh, that new um, flagship location in San Francisco, wasn't in my list because I was looking for everything in 2024. The problem was they listed the open date of that location as June 2023, which was likely the commencement of construction for the site. Um, but going forward, I'll be able to catch every new Electrify America because I'm not looking at open date anymore. I'm comparing against two tables, the delta between those two tables in order to uh, capture which locations. And that's one of the ways of getting around this concept of um, CPOs entering data incorrectly. Um, basically, I just run the comparison on my own tables instead of their data. The next one is ChargePoint, and I'm excluding all the Buckies and Mercedes-Benz HQ location. Again, this is going to take about 30 seconds to run. ChargePoint is one of the CPOs that has clean data, so it will be an accurate representation of the new ChargePoint DC fast chargers. I exclude all the AC level 2 ChargePoint locations. There we go. That was actually 44 seconds. This one right here was interesting. Uh, again, this is just the last two days. ChargePoint is very aggressive. Uh, these are all different locations, um, all with either uh, one stall or two stall dispensers. But this is just the last two days, eight rows. That's pretty impressive. The last one is EVgo. Again, we're banging against two tables using a string field in order to provide the join. So it takes a little bit longer. If you had a unique field that was a numeric, it churns much quicker. Uh, this is the Pilot Flying J that I mentioned in Springfield, Missouri that has opened. And something in Sunnyvale, California with four stalls opened up on the 28th. Thanks for watching.